Monday Night Live. I figured I would go live, do a little binder rummage, and archive this video so you guys can see what is in a baseball card junkies binder. I'm going to try to get the glare out of here before I get started. Maybe tell a few stories about some of these cards, but these aren't super valuable cards, just really cool cards that I have in one of my binders. These are all retired stars, position players. I didn't put any of, well, I got a lot of Giants players that aren't, uh, that aren't in the binder like Will Clark, but these are some other players. So starting off with Juan Gonzalez. Do have some cool cards, like that's a refractor right there, that uh, milestone. And these are fun cards, nothing super valuable. But man, it sure is fun putting these binders together. And again, I'm going to try to get that glare. Let's find a spot without glare. There we go. Got some rookies. That's a Tiffany Juan Gonzalez rookie. Of course, I got the reverse negative and the regular one. That shiny reprint. All those are rookie cards. Then we got Albert Bell. A. Those are his Fleer rookies. That's his only, like, true rookie. Then you got the 90 Leaf, 90 Bowman. That's a refractor right there. I love that card. Some more shine. Some other cool Albert Bell, a.k.a. Joey Bell cards. Then we got Ryan Howard. Man, when he was younger, I really thought he was going to be a Hall of Fame kind of guy, but, you know, it doesn't always work out that way. Love that refractor right there. Some more shiny cards. You will see some serial numbered cards and stuff like that in here as well. I don't know what kind of refractor that is. It's like almost like a light blue metallic refractor. That's a cool, cool card there. This stuff, I just, I love collecting cards like this. They're affordable. They're fun. When you arrange them in a binder, they're fun to look at. You can get kind of all kinds of mixes of different stuff. Like, well, that's kind of a cool card. That one's numbered 25 from the Moments and Milestones set from 2007. The, the, man, the tops just printed all kinds of cards from there. Some more Ryan Howard. Love Sean Green, especially when he was with Toronto. That guy had a few fantastic years with the Blue Jays. Of course, he was with the Dodgers as well. Hit four homers in a game. Got a lot of his refractors. That's his rookie right there, his upper deck rookie. Josh Hamilton did win an MVP. And that guy, he a big waste of talent. He could have been, definitely could have been a Hall of Fame 500 home run club guy. When he was in that stretch where he actually was playing, his swing was incredible. He really could crush a ball and probably was the face of baseball for at least one season. Mattingly was, of course, a face of baseball for a while, maybe two or three seasons in the, the mid to late 80s. He's one of his rookies, nice silver pack there. So some classic cards here. Can never go wrong with Donnie Baseball. There we go. That might be a better angle there. I'm trying to hold the phone and... Look at the cards at the same time. Got David Wright here of the X-Fractor. If he could have stayed healthy, he he would have had a shot at the Hall of Fame, but he's a hell of a ball player. <clears throat> Some more David Wright action there. Try to get that glare out of there. Noma Gassiapara. Love that guy. He was fun to watch when he played, got in the batter's box, so he had a little bit of OCD playing with his batting gloves. <laughs> no uh, More Nomars. Some nice cards there. I pulled that card out of a pack. I remember I bought a box of uh, gold label. What's that one number two? $9.99. God, I can't, rem I can't believe I remember pulling that card out of a pack. Some Carlos Beltrones. Mo Vaughn, man, I love that 97 Bowman Chrome refractor right there of Mo Vaughn. That guy was awesome. There's this Bowman rookie. 
score rookie. Greg Vaughn, those guys are actually cousins. So you don't see too many cousins with the same last name playing bit ball. Maybe that, that, I don't know, comment if you know if that's the only cousins with the same last name to ever play at the same time. So there we go with Mark Grace in your face. Man, that card is a classic right there. I remember collecting cards in 1988 and always looking for Mark Grace rated rookie when I was busting open the uh, 88 Don Rest packs. Of course, I got some refractors in here, 95 Bowman's Best, 96 Finest. So cool cards there. Whoops. Elgato Grande. Don't want to skip him. And then got some Andrew Jones along with some Elgato Grandes. Man, I love both those guys. Andrew Jones, yeah, who, well, he's not going to make the Hall of Fame, but he sure had a shot for a while. Oh, man, we got this guy's going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. That's Fred McGriff. Seven home runs shy of 500. I mean, he's basically seven home runs shy of being in the Hall of Fame. The classic rated rookie, of course, I got my binder. There's a nice refractor, the crime dog. I love McGriff. All these players I love. Carlos Delgado. So I, I probably try to keep pretty good diversity in my binder. There's a nice Dufex score select card, some refractors. So nice stuff. That's his Bowman rookie card, actually. Oh, I gotta love love the Delgado Idge. Lance Berkman. Of course, he was a pretty decent ball player throughout the course of his career. There's his rookie card. So yes, Mike Y. McGriff should be in the Hall of Fame. And if if I do end up archiving this video, it depends on how good my live stream is. I'm not sure how good it is. I won't know until I go back and watch it. Um, I might be commenting from time to time on people watching this live with me. There we go, Daryl Strawberry. Man, love that card. This I think that's a uh, 35th anniversary 83 tops look. That's a Tiffany card there. I got a lot of Tiffany's in my collection. I really enjoy Tiffany cards. There we go with Vincent Edward Bo Jackson. And guys, if you collected in the 80s, you'll know how we knew the player's full name. There we go. Vincent Edward Jackson. Of course, all the Donruss would always put the full name of the ball player on the back of their cards. So one of these is the uh, Tiffany on that uh, 90 Bowman, Bo Jackson. Got some Prism Shine. Man, these cards are just cool. That is a classic right there. Always been one of my favorite cards. That one's cool too. Showing another uh, football baseball. Of course with Auburn here, and then that's with uh, when he played for Kansas City and Oakland. That 1990 card. Bo knows. What doesn't Bo know? That's the question. There we go. Paul Canerco. He had a really good career. Good ball player. Uh, who else do we got here? We got Prince Fielder. You know, you know what's amazing about Prince Fielder, guys, is he and his father and his father's on the next page, Cecil Fielder, both had the same amount of career home runs. What are the odds that a father and son would both have the same amount of home runs? I think they had, I think around 320 home runs. They both ended their career. I'm just unbelievable. I think that's so cool that they, uh, they ended their career with the exact same amount of home runs. There we go with some Vizquel action. He had a, he was on track to go to the Hall of Fame until the incident on the off season. But I still am a huge Vizquel fan. Some nice parallels here. 
That's a great card there. But hopefully he'll make the uh, Hall of Fame someday. <laughs> All right. And then we got uh, more Omar Vizquel, Troy Tulowitzki, another guy that couldn't stay healthy. Vizquel played a lot. I think he played more games as a shortstop than anybody. Tulowitzki, had he played as many games as Vizquel, he'd be a, a shoe-in for the Hall of Fame. Eric Chavez... Chavez, Chavez, I'm not exactly sure how his last name is supposed to be pronounced, but there's a, always conversation about that. I, as a matter of fact, I was talking with my friend Eric the other day, and we were talking about that. I think it's Chavez, but some people call him Chavez. There we go with uh, Dale Murphy, another guy that should be in the Hall of Fame. This card, to me, is just such a classic because... It's the card on the 1988 Donruss wax box. So some classic Dale Murphy action there. Eric Davis, man, this guy was just electric when he was a young ball player. There's a couple of, there's his 85 Donruss rookie, 85 Fleer rookie. Grateful to have those rookie cards. He did finish his career on the Giants. That's a great Giants card of Eric Davis. Speed and power. And then we got Willie McGee. Won the 1985 National League MVP. He also won a batting title from Richmond, California, city I'm from, and he and I have the same birthday. There's McGee's Topps rookie, Don Russ rookie. That's one of the CHP cards. But, you know, a baseball card junkie has to have a page of Willie McGee in their retired stars, non-Hall of Fame, non-500 home club or 300, 3,000 hit club binder. <laughs> That's mainly what's in here. Joe Maurer, he may be a Hall of Famer. Not sure. We shall see. Then we got Alfonso Soriano. This guy, I think he's going he's gonna to be one of those guys that gets is going to get hobby love in the next coming years like players like um soriano after they've been retired for five years five six seven years typically have a surge in the hobby once people realize how good they were but he he was a hell of a ball player soriano i like him he was fun to watch john olrud man he was good Always a 300 hitting kind of guy. One of my favorites, Jay Buhner. Always like collecting him. And then, uh, yeah, John Olerud and Jay Buhner in here. Oh, Vinny Castilla as well. So, nice page there. Nice shiny page. Lots of refractors and stuff. Ah, man, now we're getting into these players. I don't have nearly as many cards, so I try to shove as many players on one page as I can. We've got like Tino Martinez. Paul O'Neill, Ruben Sierra. These are pretty decent, decent cards here, too. Big time memory lane, Mike Y. Big time. We got Burn Baby Burn, Bernie Williams. That's a nice one there. That's an international refractor of Williams. Nice Todd Helton there. I think he might have a shot at the Hall of Fame. These are actually a lot of refractors on this page. Some nice stuff. Refractors and rookies. Inserts. Then Jim Edmonds, man, he was a great center fielder. Maglio Ordonez, that's his rookie card from Circa. And then Jose Reyes. Moving along, we got Thurman Munson and Jorge Posada, a couple of Yankees catchers that haven't made it into the Hall of Fame. The more I think about it, the more I think Munson really should be a Hall of Famer. And I don't know, I mean... If the amount of guys that are in the Hall of Fame, I'm surprised Posada that didn't get a better look when after he retired. He's a pretty good ball player. We got Deion Sanders. I was looking through this binder earlier, and that card is sweet. 98 Topps Chrome Refractor of Deion Sanders. Love that Leaf rookie card. Adam Dunn, Ellis Burks. That's a nice one there. A nice prism. Nice refractor. Ellis Burks. That's his rook. Couple of rookies. One extended, one regular pack issued. 
That's a fun page there. Joey Bats and Jermaine Dye. Nice pages there. Some good ball players. Mesa Salou. Of course, he was a fan favorite in San Francisco. He played for the Mets, Blue Jays. He he played for quite a few teams, the Marlins. Great ball player. Cubs, everybody remembers him with the Cubs. Of course, that one play. But there we go. Here's some classic. You got Roger Maris, which a lot of, I mean, a lot of people think Maris is in the Hall of Fame and he's not. And a lot of people think that Dave Parker should be in the Hall of Fame. There's a nice Parker rookie card. That's actually a pretty decent example. Man, that's a great card, Dave Parker rookie. like that card a lot. So these are all reprints, by the way, guys. I do actually have the, the real version of that card, but nice Roger Maris's. Got John Johnny Damon, Hanley Ramirez, Nick Swisher. Nice combination of players on that page. Man, uh, Scott Rowland, I think he's going to make it in the hall. Joe Carter. Man, nice, nice page there. Good ball players there. So. Got Dave Justice. He had a really good career. Same with Kirk Gibson, Sean Casey. That's a nice one there. It's a that's the blue platinum number to 67. And I always thought this Ken Caminetti card was fantastic. Nice old school Bowman's best cuts refractor Caminetti. There we go with the uh, National Treasures die cut. So cool inserts on that page. Keith Hernandez, who remembers him on Law and Order? That's right. He was on an episode of Law and Order. <laughs> Actually, my friend Eric just texted me a picture of that episode, which I didn't realize. And we got Adrian Gonzalez. Nice X-Fractor, Refractor, Shinage there with Adrian. Man, this guy was an RBI machine. Mark Trumbo, his career kind of ended abruptly, but he was... Pretty good for a few years. Of course, you got Cargo, Dustin Pedroia, and Michael Young. I think Michael Young ended his career with a 300 batting average, over 2,000 hits. Pretty good ball player for Texas. So nice combo of players there. This this page here, these guys are uh, newly retired. You got Chris Davis. I don't think he's playing anymore. And Ryan Zimmerman uh, announced his retirement. Right, there we go. Some more classic ball players. Fred Lynn, you guys remember? He is, uh, love that rookie cup card of Fred Lynn. One of my favorite cards from the 76 top set. But Fred Lynn won rookie of the year and, N and uh, MVP his rookie season. So that doesn't happen too often. Steve Garvey, perhaps a future Hall of Famer. We'll see. Frank Howard, great power hitter from the, the 60s. That's a reprint of his rookie card. Oh, man, Mark Teixeira, Kenny Lofton, great ball player, Kenny Lofton. He's starting to get, he's one of those players, again, He's he's got some hobby love now, now that he's been retired for a while. But Lofton, great ball player. Luis Gonzalez, Richie Sexton, man. I remember this guy could turn on an inside pitch real well. Robin Ventura, Bobby Bonilla. And then we got George Foster. That's an actual George Foster rookie card there. Nice card from 71 tops. We got uh, Richie Allen, which... I really hope he uh, he gets into the Hall of Fame. He just recently passed away, and in my opinion, he's a Hall of Fame kind of guy. Uh, that's a nice Casilla refractor, Gil Hodges. And the last page in the binder is Barry's dad, Bobby Bonds. So that's it for this binder, guys. So that... Oh, that's kind of cool. Gypsy Queen back on that Dick Allen card. But anyways, that's um, that's what you get in a baseball card junkies binder. Just a bunch of 
cool retired players that are not in the Hall of Fame, that are not in the 500 home run club or the 3,000 hit club. Position players only, no pitchers in this binder. Kind of how I, how I sorted these cards out. They just look, th these cards are fun, they're affordable, and really, to me, this is what collecting and having fun and relaxing and enjoying the hobby is all about, is cards like this. So thanks so much for checking out what is in a Baseball Card Junkies binder. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And as always, until next time, ha.